All right, what's going on? Uh, first thing, I'm not sure. You might be able to hear it. Uh, somebody's mowing the lawn outside, which is obnoxious. Uh, but if you can't hear that, maybe you can hear this. Uh, this is what we're listening to. This is Beherit with Ingram uh, or Ingram. Either way, uh, I don't think I've ever been more annoyed with myself for missing out um, on an album for as long as I did than I am with this album. Um, I got this at Amoeba Music in Los Angeles, California, which is where all of these records came from, and I'll go into more into that in a second. But uh, yeah, they had this for like 10 bucks, and I had always passed up on listening to more than like a song from this. And it's a, it's a shame, really, because this album is seriously near perfect. Uh, especially the fourth song on this thing, Pagan Moon, man. I don't know how many times I've listened to this album, but I've listened to that song probably three times more than that. So, uh, the shit's been on my iPod. I've been listening to it at work. I've been listening to it uh, in the car. I've been listening to it pretty much whenever I get a chance to listen to it. And I... Genuinely, like I said, I'm really annoyed with myself for not having owned the album sooner. Um, I do have the record on the way. It uh, On Discogs is actually the 1,000th item in my collection, which I think is pretty cool. But, yeah, really, really good stuff. And like I said, um, Maddie and I, we went to Amoeba Music in Los Angeles, California. And the place is... is pretty it's a pretty just a big record store uh, for those of you who may not know what amoeba is for some reason uh but even cooler my buddy craig came out and he met us there we actually went twice uh yeah it was a great time uh we did a, we did more than just the record store we went to this um it's like a metal t-shirt shop basically and uh, i got this sweet ass fucking craft shirt um i saw that you know this and i was like yeah I'll, uh, I'll have that. So, uh, really, really good time overall. Uh, he's a great dude, and I have no doubts that we'll make it back out there and we'll do it again. So, uh, yeah, good times. And as I have this opportunity, um, I'm going to urge every single one of you to go subscribe to Craig's channel because this dude, without a doubt, makes probably my, my favorite vinyl uh related videos um i just because he's so knowledgeable about you know about all of this stuff and his collection is just completely unrivaled so every one of you guys the link will be in the description as it is in every video because he makes all the intros go subscribe to his channel and yeah you won't be sorry so like i said all of this shit is from amoeba music and it's all black metal apart from one, so it's pretty much what we normally do here. Uh, fine with me. And strangely enough, three of these black metal albums are Norwegian black metal albums. And uh, then there's a band from Denmark, but I'll get into that. That's probably be the last one I talk about. Uh, first up here, this is uh, an EP from 1994. And I hadn't known that this reissue had happened until I was at the record store and I saw it there uh, and I overpaid for this a little bit I didn't know like I said I didn't know at the time that this even existed uh, so I didn't know if the price was basically just standard price but uh, no I overpaid for this a little bit but uh, either way man I'm just glad to own this now so I, I don't really care but of course, I'm, uh, I'm talking about this. This is Gehenna with First Spell. This is a, like I said, it's a Norwegian black metal band. And obviously these dudes apparently are, are still around today. And I, I don't know, man. I mean, I, I hadn't heard anything past this, but they released an album just a few years ago. And uh, I don't know, it's just not one of those bands you really think about when, um, or, you know, you don't really think about this band still being around, I guess, or at least I don't. But then again, I haven't known about this band for more than, I don't know, six months, maybe. So, uh, probably not even that long. But either way, I'm just, I'm super glad to own this because this is such a good album. Uh, this band doesn't really fit in with, uh, like, I guess the other Norwegian black metal bands coming, uh, you know, releasing stuff around this time. Maybe because of the keyboards, I don't know. Um, 
There's also a heavy bass in this thing, which is not usually present in a lot of black metal, but I think this sounds really, really fucking good. And this is a 2016 Black Sleeves Press, and also this isn't an album, it's an EP. I know I keep saying album, but it's just kind of out of habit. Uh, but this includes the First Spell EP, and it also includes the uh, Black Seared Heart, which I guess was a, uh, I don't know if it was like, it was a CD. And I don't know if it was like just another EP or, or what, but I know this does include the uh, Black Seared Heart material. So, really, really cool, really nice quality. The only problem I have with this is there's like these scratches on the jacket. And they're not really like scratches in the jacket so much, it's like more like someone put a piece of paper on top of it and like wrote on the paper. Um, I can't make out any letters or anything like that, so maybe it was just fucking scribbled, but either way, that's kind of annoying, but Whatever, I still have the album. Oh, there's the back, like I said, Black Sleeves Press. Uh, yeah, really, really nice quality overall. It's a double vinyl, like I said. One uh, one of the records is the first Spell EP and the other is the Black Seared Heart stuff. Uh, this is just black vinyl. I know this uh, included a, uh, this also had a clear vinyl press, which they were selling, but it was like six bucks more and I just didn't care quite that much. Um, but I think, I think it's 300 on black vinyl. So really, really cool. I'm super glad to own this, like I said. Uh, I don't really know what else to, to say about it. Um, actually, I, uh, I was doing some research on um, the guys from the band Throne of Catarsis, and one of the guys from Throne of Catarsis actually played on this album, and I know nowadays there are two dudes from Throne of Catarsis in this band. So uh, really cool. I wanna check out the newer stuff because you know, I, I gotta imagine it's at least pretty good. So, uh, yeah, Norwegian black metal goodness. Check it out. That's Gehenna with First Spell. Alright, speaking of Throne of Catarsis, this is actually what I got when I went back to Amoeba the second time. Like I said, we did go twice. This is Ved Graven or to the graves, at the graves, something like that. Uh, I don't remember, I did look it up, but I just don't fucking remember. Uh, this is the third of four Throne of Catarsis albums, and this album came out in 2011, if I'm not mistaken, which I, you're very possible that I am, but um, this is very similar to to uh, the three transcendental keys, which I have not shown yet. Uh, I did make a video showing it, but I just scrapped it because I wasn't happy with it. Um, so I do own that one, but I guess since I hadn't talked about that one by the time you're seeing this, then um, if you're not familiar with Rock Tires, this is Norwegian black metal. And this is some of my favorite black metal going. This shit is so damn good. Um, musically, it's very impressive, it's very tight, and Vocally, it's got like it's sort of like those uh, almost like uh, groany, chanty, yelled vocals that sort of break into the obviously the typical black metal wretch vocals, but it's so fucking good. Um, I, I gotta say, most of you guys are probably familiar with this by now, but if you're not, I definitely, definitely recommend starting with either this one or the Three Transcendental Keys. I'm not sure, um, I haven't heard the first two, so I don't know if they're as good as these, but I have heard people say that the two most recent are the best ones. Um, obviously, you should go listen to it and form your own opinion about that, but uh, I'm, not really, I'm not really one to talk. I haven't done that yet, so uh, I'll get around to it. So basically, I mean, you could basically pair this with the sort of older style of Norwegian black metal. It's very dark, it's very raw. Um, musically, it's very simple, but it is played well and everything about this is just really, really good. It kind of puts you in the place that you see here on the, uh, on the cover, which I, I always like that. Uh, so yeah, good stuff. This does include a booklet, um, sort of a small lyric booklet. It's kind of like the one that comes with the three chains of keys, but this actually includes more lyrics than that one does. And this one folds out sort of like this. Uh, really, really cool. There's not much on the back, but I'll show you anyways the band and yeah really really cool so i'm not sure which of these dudes playing gehenna now but uh whatever besides the point uh also really cool just like the uh 
three transcendental keys, I do have the more limited version. This is the red one. This is limited to 100 copies. Um, the purple one is uh, that came with the three, three transcendental keys is also limited to 100 copies, but I'm just glad to own it. It's a great album. I don't know which of these I prefer. Maybe the three transcendental keys, but that's probably just because I've listened to that one more. But uh, Blute Nizen Productions, which uh, this was released through Blute Nizen Productions. Um, I'm not sure where, if any distros stock this thing, but, uh, you know, I found it, it was like 17 bucks, so it, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty accessible. So, um, yeah, any of you guys who can find this, I would just recommend buying it. I know I've turned a couple people onto this, um, already, and, uh, you know, I would like everyone to listen to this if you haven't. So check it out, that's, uh, Throne of Catharsis with Ved Graven. Here's something else that I got, and this is not something that I, um, this just is not something that I guess I could see myself, um, buying, but only because it's a soundtrack. And if it were any other soundtrack, I may not have bothered with it, but, um, it being this one, uh, you know, I had talked to Craig about this before, and, um, you know, I had seen this movie, but I didn't, I didn't pay attention to the soundtrack so much, I guess, and, uh, you know, we were talking about it one day and he sent me uh, the like a link to it on YouTube and I listened to it and I was like, man, this is really fucking cool. And uh, he describes it as sort of like satanic church music and I don't really know a better way to describe this. Uh, and of course I'm talking about The Omen. This is the original 1976 soundtrack and <laughs> man, if you guys have never heard this, then that is exactly what it is. It's basically just satanic church music. It's sort of like that, almost like a operatic, uh, like choir, um, you know, you know what I'm talking about. I don't know how to explain it, but it's, it's just very cool. It's very eerie. Um, it's super evil. And I don't know, man, it's one of those things you can put on and just kind of, I don't know, feel unsettled the whole time. And I love that sort of thing. This is great. I don't know, like, I don't know if this will be one of those things that I play every day, but you know, it's super cool to own and I don't know, you know, when I'm when I'm in the mood for something like this, this works perfectly for that and it's so cool and I'm so glad to own this. Um yeah, there's the uh there's the front cover. There's the back cover there. Uh this is a promotional copy on uh Tattoo Records. Obviously, it's just promotional 1976. Uh, making this the oldest record I have in my collection by 10 years, uh, 10, 10 years, nine years, something like that. But it's just cool to own, man. It's, it's a great soundtrack. I, I love this thing to death and I'm super pleased to own this and I got it for a pretty good price. So it's just black vinyl. So I'm not going to show you anything past just the labels, but, uh, the vinyl is in really, really nice condition. Uh, the jacket is not in bad condition considering its age. And, uh, yeah, I'm just really, really pleased to own this. I'm not going to go too much into it. Um, please listen to this. It's really, really cool. It's very out there, and it's extremely evil. So, if you like extremely evil operatic satanic church music, then uh, check it out. That's The Omen. <laughs> All right, and we're back with Norwegian Black Metal. This is an album that was released in 1996. And uh, this is the only album from this band. And it's such a good fucking album that I really, really wish these dudes had done more. But who knows, man? Maybe if this is just another one of those early Norwegian Black Metal bands that kept making music, they would suck like every other Norwegian Black Metal band that made music in the early 90s. This with For Kunsten Mavi Evig Viki which translates to uh, we must always yield to the art, or at least that's a very rough Google translation of the title of this album. Um, man, this shit is so fucking good. I think these dudes had like, uh, fucking like a demo and an EP or a rehearsal or something before this, but once they released this, that was it. Um, so, you know, maybe 
maybe it was for the best that they stopped when they did but either way it's kind of a bummer you know so this uh this includes like sort of very subtle um maybe not very subtle but it's subtle enough synthesizers and again man this is a pretty bass heavy black metal album uh and again much like a lot of the early uh norwegian black metal stuff bass is not a big player in the genre and same thing with that gehenna record and this is not one of those records that people talk about immediately when they start talking about norwegian black metal it's usually the you know the second third and fourth dark throne album you'll get the first three first four burzum albums uh you know the first one mayhem album the fucking demo before that or the ep before that but yeah for some reason this is just i don't know i guess this never reached larger than life um popularity which i i guess those other norwegian black metal albums did but i think it's a shame man because this is really really fucking good and yeah, this album can, this album gets uh, gets fast at points, but it keeps it tight, and it's so fucking good. And I think you guys have probably all heard this, but um, it's just good, man. This is a this is a 2013 Peaceville reissue. I think 2013. It does say 2013 Peaceville Records, so I guess so. But yeah, really, really cool. It doesn't come with anything. It doesn't come with lyrics or anything like that. Uh, the vinyl is just black. I'm not sure. This doesn't. It's not one of those peaceful reissues that have a uh, like a limitation sticker or anything like that. But uh, yeah, really, really, really nice, man. 180 gram vinyl, which I don't really care about how much the record weighs. I know a lot of people do, but personally, I don't give a fuck. So, if for some reason you haven't listened to this, then I would definitely definitely urge you to do so because it is so fucking good and i think you guys will agree with me once you hear it um not much more to say it's just good check it out that's vist with for kunsten mavi evig viki all right so i had tried filming this video before and the reason I had stopped is because it got a little bit too long. And once I noticed it was too long, I was talking about this band and I said they were from Sweden. And once I realized my mistake, I was like, fuck it, I'm done. So that was, that was last week. So I'm gonna try this again. This is Serpent's Lair with Circumambulating the Stillborn. Um, yeah, like that. Uh, man, like I said, this is a Danish band. I don't know why the fuck I thought they were from Sweden, but they're not. This shit is so fucking good. Again, very bass heavy black metal. And these dudes just formed in 2013 or something like that. And they have a demo from 2014, which I do own. I just haven't gotten around to showing it yet. And then this album came out last year and I fucking wish I knew about this shit last year because no doubt this shit would have been maybe top 10 on the end of the year list. It's really, really good. Um, put out through Fallen Empire, so you would think I would have caught it, but nope, I didn't. Uh, there's the back cover, by the way. Front cover is really cool. Um, I much prefer the, the sort of cover of uh, the demo that I have, but either way, it's nice. So again, man, the sort of vocal style on this thing, I'm just a sucker for it. It's kind of like that throaty groan, almost yell, and then at times it, it sort of turns into that black metal wretch that I, I, you know, again, as a black metal fan, I just am a sucker for. But yeah, man, this uh, this album, just like the the Vist one, Kvist, um, it, it can get fast, and when it gets fast, it doesn't become sloppy. It's very impressive musically. It's very tight musically. It's just really, really good. And I think every one of you guys should um, at least poke your head into one of these songs because they're all really, really good. I definitely prefer this over the demo. Um, musically, I prefer this over the demo. But either way, man, they're both good. The demo is pretty accessible. The demo, actually, if I'm not mistaken, uh, I got it from Fallen Empire's website for like 10 bucks. So um, definitely just go and pick it up because it's really, really good. It's a short listen, but it's it's good. So yeah, I just showed this. Uh, it comes with lyrics, which I think is nice. The demo does not. Um, and the vinyl itself is just black. There was an option at Amoeba Music for a colored vinyl, but um, it was like five bucks more and I was just like, ah, I don't care that much. I don't know what color it would be. 
I would imagine maybe like a brownish color, like a one of those beer colored records, but um, yeah, super, super, super fucking good stuff. Uh, I, I don't see any black metal fan not enjoying this. So um, yeah, probably my, my favorite black metal band that's coming from, from Denmark. Uh, yeah, check it out. Serpent Slayer, Circumambulating the Stillborn. All right, guys, that's it. I'm going to cut a little bit out of this video, so it's not going to be as long as my phone is showing that it is. It uh, won't be a problem, but thanks for sticking around. Um, hopefully, I'll have another video out sometime in the middle of next week if I get around to doing it, if I get off my ass and stop being lazy. I'll try. So thanks for sticking around if you did, and until next time.